You can listen to The Michael Mara Show at michaelmarashow.com. Let's get started. It's The Michael Mara Show with Michael Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Welcome to The Michael Mara Show. We are enjoying our second decade of the show that has become a daily routine for thousands of listeners in great places like Fort Knox, Kentucky, Carmel, California, Whippany, New Jersey. Do you know where that is in New uh, Jersey? You, you know Jersey a little bit better than most of us. I, I don't, I've never I heard don't of it. I don't know. I'll find Five out what county it's Wildwood. in. Wildwood? Could be near Wildwood, yes. Bucharest, Romania, Warsaw, Wisconsin, and uh, Manama, Bahrain. The Mike O'Meara wow. show is uh, on now. Uh, happy Monday, everybody! What we had a we had a, a, a an over an oversleep like you have never seen. Yeah, uh, we are starting fifty minutes late. Uh, roughly, uh, due to, uh, did you have, uh, were you nocturnal last night, Oscar? Is that why you didn't I was nocturnal, uh, but this is bell? what's strange, and I hate to even say this, uh, my wife, my wife is in Olney, Maryland, and she- It's eat, finally over? You no, know, At please. your mom's house? Yeah, because- uh, she's my mom, with the my mom is a spoiled glowworm, and she's getting her kitchen redone, and we needed somebody there- uh, that understood the parameters of the job, which my wife does, um, to meet them. And I certainly can't meet them because I'm a captain of industry because I have to get to work on time, Mike. Um, and that's only Maryland, and I, we live in D.C. So she slept over my mother's yesterday. Does she normally assist you in uh, hearing the rallying for, I, for work? I, I, if you told me I needed my wife prior to this morning, I would have said, no way. I wake up. But now up. you know you do. This is shocking to me. Shocking. Shock. Oh. So, I just don't know physically if I could sleep not past nine, past eight in the morning. I don't think. No, not past set. I don't think I could do it. I'd love to be able to do it, but Especially I don't think on a work physically day, yeah. being, Look, you know, as you, I could, as you I get could older. You, you, hey, can you, you turn less. his microphone down yeah, a little I feel like bit I'm, to me? Uh, I feel like I'm muffled, actually, but it's fine. Um, as you get older, I know you wake up earlier. I have been. No problem. Turn it, him down all the way. Let's try it again. Okay. Just One, a little bit. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you have the right microphone? That's fine. That's okay. good. Thank That's God. good right there. All right. Um, so I, uh, I, I, and the only outlier is because I don't want to give my wife too much credit or the dog because the dog is not with me. Does she um, rally and get the house going in the morning? No, it is me. I usually wake up at 6.30, no problem, and I'm bebopping around. So you're the, uh, my wife is the uh, driver of the uh, of the, the whole morning. You know who she, actually, she gets me up. Mine but too. I take, I, take, Not. I take everything back about my wife. It's Santos. Santos shake does that shake i need to go outside the, the whole, ears the ears and everything yeah. uh -huh. he does well, that. one of uh, believe it or not as much as i'm an animal lover one of the least favorite sounds in the oh. world to me is the flapping of a dog's ear oh, when they I wake like, up i like that i don't like the I collar hate the that jingling sound. of the collar i know i I, 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 I I hate the yeah yeah oh. I, I love it. Whippany, New Jersey is in the northern part of the state, central. And you know who was born there? Linda Tripp. The lovely Linda Tripp comes from Whippany, New Jersey. Oh, That's information that uh, was absolutely uh, wonderful. And Loose thank you sink ships. for that. That's, um, so uh, that's good Monday information. Let, let me clarify here. Yes. The dog does its shimmy, Santos, around 6 a.m. You mean the shake? Shimmy shake. Yeah. And he... My wife would be like, mm, uh, "Can you?" And I so I always get up and go because I don't mind. Like I know he's got to go, and I, as a All man, right. I know I can't hold it. So he is the he's the secret to my success. And one more layer, you know, those little go Google Home, those little pieces of uh, of like it's a screen, a speaker, those uh. They're all over Best Buy, Mike. Personal assistance. Personal assistance. Right. Got one of those for Christmas, and for the first time in my life, I said, "Well, let me tell Google to set my alarm." And, Last and, night. Yeah, and that rinky-dink alarm that comes out of that little speaker, <laughs> let me tell you. Not it's loud. No, slipped right through. It's no Apple Corporation, because when I woke up to old Rob uh, being like, uh, everything okay? Where and are you I, at? And I was like, dude, I want to- I, I wanted Don't to, say where you I at, I wanted please. to say, this is what I want to say, back up, bro. I'll see you in about 30, I'm, because maybe you're looking for something, right? Right. And, and I looked at, know. I looked, I said, I was like, my God. I have slept in. 
This is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, it, it, you know, we're here. And Thank we you waited, for waiting. And, and, I actually said start. Uh, start the show, uh, the, the normal, uh, you know, my, my I, I have to say this, that uh, I am coming off a... Uh, a weekend where uh, at my advanced age, you don't get a chance to go to weddings very often. You really don't. You don't get an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have planned this for a long time. Not really, I wouldn't call it a destination wedding because it was, but it was. We stayed overnight. We drove uh, two hours, two hours and 20 minutes up the slab to uh, outside of Tampa for uh, for my friend Carmen and her daughter Shauna getting married. Uh, Shauna, uh, you know, really uh, wonderful, lovely, lovely girl. And uh, Carmen has been our number one and only babysitter for my son since he was 16 months right 16 months old she refers to uh my son as her other uh grandchild which i you know that was kind of when it really that was years and years ago when she kind of locked it in with me and uh she was up there and really 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 jt uh shauna's uh husband just a uh a wedding and i i forgot the joy because it's been so long, you know, oh, my contemporaries yeah. don't do it very often, mm-hmm. unless they're on number four now. But I will say <laughs> that uh, this venue was uh, outside of Tampa, Florida, and it was a natural outside wedding with a, uh, just a little uh, shelter that we were all under with all the tables. And the church was, uh, you know, the, the place where they got married was set up under this beautiful natural uh, mangrove tree, uh, canopy, uh, cypress tree, whatever Stand- it was. Spanish English? Just beautiful. Uh, I think Italian family and then Puerto oh. Rican family. Right. Uh, so Carmen's Puerto Rican and she had all her uh, Latin uh, relatives there. And it was the energy. How much Daddy Yankee do they play? Uh, what's Daddy Yankee? Oh, it's, you know, like you mean like, like the, they, There was a lot of that music oh, and we love, were all dancing. A lot of line playlist. dancing. A lot of line dancing. Oh, the cha-cha for these dance? Kids. Yeah, it was oh, just the cha-cha really slide? Very popular. So much fun. Uh, Cha-cha real and so we get there to the and I make a mistake because it is in a town called Lutz, Florida. I look that up. And Lutz is north, I uh, think north of Tampa. And I get a, uh, they send out the information because it's a destination that they're going to be at the hotel. I said, I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay at a hotel close by. I don't want to be at the hotel where all the kids are rocking and rolling because yeah. we're bringing Michael and, and all that. So I don't want to be up in the, the wee hours of the morning. L-U-T-Z, you know? Lutz? Lutz. Yeah, I went to <laughs> Like Biddle, Biddle and Lutz. I went, to, Lutz. I went to school with a kid named Nick Lutz, and we always, Nick called, Lutz. We always called him Lick Nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he I've got another L U. Uh, I've guy. got another three letter restaurant that's no longer in business with an L U. Do you know what it is? Lums. Oh, you remember Lums. No, you that. remember Lums? There was one on campus. I don't at think BCU. I had one meal in Lums, but I remember no, Lums. And there was one. there was one in Falls Church. Lums. Lums. It sounds like, horrible, like a, doesn't like it? Like a Denny's, right? Like kind like of a, a Denny's. Diary, yeah, but it sounds a horrible. Yeah. It feels right. weird saying it. Your Lums. mouth feels, it's like it hurts your mouth. Lums. Lums. So we roll out for a four o'clock wedding. We roll Perfect time at for a wedding. 12. What's, what's the COVID we protocol first? Just get, let's the, get that the out The COVID of protocol was, uh, it's outside. Uh, masks were provided, but we didn't wear masks uh, because it was uh, it was outside. And uh, I, I with the you know with boosted, my wife boosted, yeah, yeah, I mean, and you I have, boosted. You have zero comorbidities. You're good. I I, I think. He's giving. You know what? He's giving me a hard time. He doesn't have the comorbidity saying. of oversleeping. I know that. That's, That's true. the comorbidity. You woke him from the dead today. <laughs> uh, so they, they we go like in cough. and it's such a beautiful uh, place, just so pretty. And and I said, you know, it, when you get to a wedding place you've never been to before, and you go, "Wow, what a great choice." Yeah. The the thing that was cool was the altar under this massive tree, natural overhang. They had the chairs set up, and um, I said this to Carmen, uh, our babysitter and the mother of the bride, that I just felt a spiritualism with this particular wedding. There were uh, that family. I won't go into detail. Has gone through a lot of hard times Aww. with uh, with losing family members recently, and uh, and I felt a. A, a real spiritual, I felt my mom's presence there it was just kind oh, of a, nice. it was just a real sweet, emotional for some reason. I'm not connected to this family in any uh, significant way, but I just, I felt the joy. And two things, so, so I felt that all day, 
and I passed the line. But what I really felt when I went into the uh, little area where they were getting married mm-hmm. was I, I checked the room out. Even at 62, I look around the room to say, "Will my number one priority, is this going to be a fun wedding or a non-fun? Right. And you immediately, as I, as I check out everybody there, I see enough of a youth presence where this is going to go. This is going to be a fun nice. one. And it's going to be, a, you know, the families seem to be getting along well. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, and it was. And the way they laid it out, you have the wedding and you have the reception, same place. That's so the, awesome. you just basically move from the the little chapel oh, area like over to winds. the pavilion and it College was, Park. That? What what? Trade winds. I've been there. Have you ever it's, been there? It's it, a multi. No. It's an event facility. Oh my god, Mike! If you want to have a trashy wedding, That's and I place. have, um, you go to what is an event, uh, Shangri La in in trashy Belgium. This wasn't trashy though. No, I'm saying. Don't, are you saying, Sleepy, that, that, that you're calling my my, no, my, uh, my babysitter's saying, w- kids' wedding you're, trashy? You're in a chapel in a park. You're fine. I'm saying that there is a high like there's a high level of operations when you go from the chapel to the oh, I know. Those the- are the indoor venues. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This they with, turned the, 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 uh, <laughs> the uh, Fair Oaks movie theater turned into one at uh, yes, Fair Oaks Mall. Nothing of the kind. Good. Yeah, but you're outside in a park. Nothing of the kind. Because Under a this was, tree. But, but also you're, you're not hearing my rustic description. This is super okay. rustic. I'm sorry. This was very like this was a converted place. It was is and you you go from the uh, little chapel area, and then there are some like uh, outbuildings, older outbuildings with uh, like maybe converted uh, stables or barns okay. or something like that, oh. and they have the drinky drink. Right away, like you go That's right cool. from the chapel to their service, and they did uh, they did beer and wine on them as much as you want, all you, you want. want whiskey and a cash bar, so you could get uh, have me a little marga yeah. uh, right out of the How gate. Was it? And they had that. It was I watched her make it. She put it, uh, you know, a little tart for me, but uh, you know, it had enough of tequila. Mm. Uh, so we're sitting there, and the bride was beautiful, and uh, Carmen's granddaughters are uh, absolutely gorgeous and they were in the wedding and it was really really fantastic and uh this is really ultimately though the story of why i'm a disc jockey why i'd never be in corporate america why you know putting on to me putting on a suit uh, even when we do a live show and that's really whenever we do them or i go to a funeral right which was the last time i wore the suit you find out when you reach into your pocket you know, I didn't have it dry cleaned, and I reached into the suit. You know, and find it a was, prayer card still fresh. It was uh, it was card little, not yeah, so much, not a good one too. You remember so it? Sorry. I went up there, uh, but anyhow. Oh. So I'm, I'm I sat there, and uh, but the suit is great, and it's a little big on me, which is fine. That's that a makes nice me sign. happy. And so I, uh, I, I rarely. So I. Nice but it was. You don't have to be surprised. Okay. No, I'm look. You're talking to a guy who needed order a bigger suit. So I'm, uh, I'm there. I get yeah, it. So uh, it was hard getting the tie over his face. I know it's huge. <laughs> tell you it's clip. On. It's time. El but I will tell you El Clipo. And this is a fat guy thing. This yes. is a fat guy thing. Yes. I'm not a big stander. I'm you with you. I like to I like to play golf, uh, but golf is cart golf cart yeah. golf. You know what I mean. But but my entire family on my sister's side, they could stand, and everyone in Maine, you go across that, every party I've ever been to, all standing yeah. all the time. Stand, stand, stand. I don't like it. I want to relax. I want to have... So I found myself a little place to uh, sit. Uh, they had some tables where the bars were, but everybody was standing and milling around. Some people were sitting down, but I like to go to where the uh, 90-year-old women are, you know, yeah. where they parked it. Did you find uh, a glider, or what did you find? Uh, no, I found it. They had a little uh, couple a of tables chair. set up in the uh, one area before okay. you go in, All and right. And then it's time to go into the venue. And they even have that together. As we're sitting there, a guy comes over and said, you will have a, uh, you'll have a name card. Uh, not a name card. You will have a name display with your name on it uh, over right when you're walking into the venue. We'll tell you what table you're sitting at. And uh, then they were so tastefully done, the table numbers, uh, with this little kind of rock cutout thing where you could hardly see the number. It was kind of hard to find. We finally find table 15. We're sitting with uh, a very nice group of people that are sitting there we don't know them but it's small talk small talk but at least there was talk 
Okay? That's good. That's good. There was there was chit chat and fine. Now at this particular point, uh, what's that? What? Were you the only two Diablo Blancos? Three. No, no. We as a matter of fact, we were. We were at a gringo table. Oh, yeah, not I believe. That's, yeah. Because uh, they started at one and moved down to 15. <laughs> but by the way, the, I should point out, I should point out, uh, Shauna is the, the, uh, the daughter of a mixed couple. So, oh, got uh, it, got it, got it. You, you've got gringos all over the place. Well, that's and, always, it's always, it's always, and marrying an Italian guy. So, yeah, but it's also, you know. it's, it's, it's always fun uh, for someone that, you know, understands a little more about this than most <laughs> to see how because i know my foreign parents are always gonna be sitting at the floor i was gonna was like pointing at his arm i know skin color <laughs> it was subtle wasn't it Funny. yeah but there's if there's a language barrier right there's usually a, a language barrier table and that's usually a quiet table because no it's because i other. think that there was a uh a liberal amount of okay. bilingualism got it, got at this it, particular it, it, it. and they uh, there were, i mean they, these you know and, and by the way the, the the way it's not like oscar when he struggles with his native tongue yeah you know it's a, th- these people flip you have a switch. to admit it's it's cute. like a flip a switch it's, it's uh, cute yeah. when he speaks at least Spanish. i have that yeah i you know what do you guys uh, have i have friends but that you you do i i admire people I'll that are it. able to switch i can get you out of a jam and uh Tijuana. Now, obviously, right. they sat your boy with you. It was you and Carla and Michael. There it wasn't was, like a yeah. kids' table, right? Was that his? There wasn't first... a kids' table, but they didn't have a place for Michael, so we had to end up bringing that. But that was done in five seconds. It was, was that over, his? Uh, you know? Was that his first wedding that he'll be cognizant? First of? wedding. We will get to that in a okay, second. Great, and great. He is styling. He loves to wear the suit. He loves to wear the tie. He looked beautiful. We got a haircut that day nice. uh, right after his piano lesson, and it could not have been more fun for him. We'll get to him because he brought his mother and I. Great joy. So getting back to it, I am uh, not only a, a DJ, and DJs by their nature, it is a, uh, I'll come out and say it, Please. it's a white trash job. Mm-hmm. It is. There's nothing other than when you do what we do, it is. It is. I think I figured that out after my many years on this planet. Uh, it, it, that's it's just not, the way it it's goes. It's not. It, 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 let's be a little more respectful. It's a white no, trash it's not, job. It's not trash. It's not white trashy, and it's not trashy. It's hard to do. It is just not as hard. It is hard to do. It is just and not to be as hard. It's not, at it is. it's not as hard as we make it seem. <laughs> we, we make it seem harder. We make it seem harder all the time. But my point I'm getting to is the the, the suit dress up. Comfort. Yes. I have a great fitting suit for my fat ass. Great. What color? But I still, uh, it's it's a black suit. Beautiful. And uh, But I will tell you that, uh, a charcoal suit. Okay. I, I will tell you that ultimately, I'm never comfortable in a in a formal or, or business casual. I'm just not, especially since I moved to Florida. I'm, I'm, I'm basically wearing my go to camp. Mm-hmm. clothing right now PJ, and that's what i wear every day shorts and a golf shirt every day every single day that so when you put me in this thing first of all perfect weather down here so there was not the uh the oh. schwitzing that you get at some of these functions which is another pain in the ass but i'm always just mindful of you know not doing anything to stand out right. i want to be chill i want to be dignified and i want to be fine so uh the choice of drink after we got uh into the venue was wine free beer and wine we'll get the wine fine i'm bringing carla a glass i'm bringing myself a glass and i sit down and it was uh business casual was the recommendation there were men with ties there were men without ties there were men without jackets there were men it was a it was a variety but i was in a jacket without a tie my son was in a, a suit with a tie i chose to uh, wear right in the middle. It was fine. Didn't stand out. It was the way it should be. Nice, crisp, brand new white button down shirt. Felt very together. Did it have buttons? Uh, for, for me. Uh, what's you know, that? Pony likes to wear shirts without buttons. I'm just curious what your preference is. It was not a t shirt. It was not no, a tuxedo was, no, no, no. shirt. Remember, Pony had a tuxedo shirt without buttons? Oh, without the studs in <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. No, this so was. He non- showed up looking like Tom Jones. <laughs> this was a dress shirt. <laughs> This was a dry, a white, crisp dress Nothing shirt. Nothing better. Nothing yes. better. And I Beautiful. sit down, and I'm feeling comfortable, and my son's having a good time, and it's a there's a sweetness in the air to this wedding that's really special. And uh, I look over at my wife as I'm talking, and uh, and as I'm talking, I I reach up to, to take a sip oh. of my glass, looking at my wife, and of course, gabler, mm. right down, red. 
fucking wine oh, right down the front of my shirt in a uh, in a headshot splatter. That's what oh, it would be. It would basically be just like this. And I'm looking yeah. down, and there is no uh, you know remedy right away. Uh, and by the way, oh. everybody's being introduced, oh, so sir. there's no getting up to get soda water or anything like that. You know. And now, please welcome for the first time. And now we're going to have the dance. And now we're going. And I'm like, all I'm thinking is, I need. Soda water, please, soda water. And I lean over to Carla and said, can you go around the back and get some? She goes, well, yeah, in a minute, 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 in a minute. Meanwhile, Finally, everyone's looking at you saying, look who's going through stigmata. I'm ta- It's so bad I'm talking about it. I make the lady to the right of me, uh, the mom of one of the uh, bridesmaids, <laughs> laugh because I sit there and I take my jacket. Well, I said, maybe if I hold my jacket like this, <laughs> and I go right up to my neck and I'm going, she's laughing. At least she's laughing at my shtick. Yeah. Carla finally goes back to... Uh, uh, get the soda water. And I said, and get a little lemon slice, put a little of the acidity, help get that stain out a little bit. Smart. So she comes back over and she gives me a, a napkin and a little plastic cup with soda water in it. And I begin to dab. And within four dabs, I realize that the napkin she has given me is a paper, dark navy blue oh, no! napkin. Oh, no! And it's just- and bleeding I, onto your shirt. I, it is. <laughs> it's making the it stain looks like set. I, it looks like I've barfed on my oh, shirt at oh. this point, and I'm sitting there going, "This is just the the way." And uh, I end up being the white trash DJ that I am. We have a white linen tablecloth, oh. and I begin to. Uh, I look up at the because it's the mother. It's her other daughter. It's another young girl and her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. The, these are all late teen, early 20-somethings that are there yeah. with the mom. Yes. And I look up at them, and uh, some of them laughed. I think maybe some of them were disturbed. I said, okay, kids, it's time for the wet T-shirt contest. <laughs> oh. And I take, I take the corner of the linen <laughs> tablecloth. Because I am not going to walk around looking like I've been shot no. right, right. at this. No, and, no. And, and, and the blue, the navy blue has now blended to a round stain oh. peppered with the intense red in yeah. the middle of it. And it's just, it it's probably absurd. probably from a distance almost looked like you were wearing a tie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how bad it was. And I take it, and then the linen with the soda water and the lemon is uh, is getting it done to a passable extent. Okay. Good. Then it's the question, it's it's Florida. And it's humid, so it's a question of waiting for the dry time. Right. Uh, but, but, you know, ultimately, this is like in the game of golf when we said, man, I should have made that set. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about what you look yeah, like. They care about what they look like. It's, un- you know? it's, un- it's an uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. It is because the, the, the wedding party Oscar was so put together. They, they just had these yes. wonderful, a wonderful color palette. Everybody looked really good, uh, you know, and the, you know, the, being around the young people and yeah. my son said, I was fine. I moved past it. I did crack the table up because, you know, you're seeing my chest hairs coming through the shirt because I'm because it's soaked uh, with it's soda like, water. It's, it's uh, this is like a Larry David episode of, uh, of Curb. Where, it is. Where, where, where you this is this is oh, I don't. It's me. It's I'm you. I'm so sick of being a slob, fat, yeah, fart. But Mike, I really am. But Mike, even on your best days, you're not gonna let this slide because you're mad at yourself. You're mad at your so mad at myself. You're, you're, you're mad that I'm you can't so even pissed. have an effing drink, a sip of wine without. I making can't even a mess. have a sip of wine without going. <laughs> well, actually, and I have, it, have it have it splay out of my mouth. That's not the worst part. The Jesus worst part Christ, is not thinking so ahead. Horrible. It's not thinking ahead with the blue napkin. There's the blue no. napkin is the worst. I am part. an Omera. I am an Omera. Let me explain what an Omera. Omeras can't shove whatever no. the substance is into their cake holes fast enough. And Omeras also want to go me 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 talk 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 me 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 talk talk. And so the marriage of getting something ingested and talking uh, resulted in my father didn't have a goddamn tie in his closet that didn't have spidge on it. Uh, <laughs> because it was just it was horrible. And I'm sitting there and I'm not 
careful enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm not careful enough. And there are people, by the way, there are people that are so meticulous and so good at it. Mm -hmm. But me, I don't even have food, okay? Now, let's let's just think. Uh, by the way, they'd served a little uh, hors d'oeuvre before. They had a little shrimp mm -hmm. and they had little mini Cuban mm -hmm. sandwiches, which were fantastic. I dodged the Cuban sandwich. No, and I dodged okay. it by yeah. basically, I'm leaning over like this, going... <laughs> Yeah, I lean. I lean a, that's so a mustard far, bomb right there. Well, I, I lean so far out over my shelf to <laughs> make sure shelf? anything that falls, because I know something's going to fall from my mouth. I know, I know it's going to be me like this going. <laughs> <laughs> the shelf. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, so it, it worked out that uh, it was passable. Yeah, the stain never went out. No, I thought the shirt's gone. It's over. The yeah. shirt's ruined. Yeah. It's like the worst thing. Hmm, let's see. What's he going to spill on it? Oh, I've got it. Red wine. <laughs> lovely, lovely red wine. Right in the middle of his uh, his fat man teats. <laughs> and I was embarrassed. But shortly thereafter, the joy of my little man. At his first wedding, looking absolutely gorgeous in his suit with his brand new haircut. And he hit that dance floor oh, the best. like Aww. nobody hit that dance floor. He might. He's here today. He's got the school day off today. He might have his mother's sense of rhythm, oh, but it doesn't no. matter. Like Elaine. Uh, yeah. Elaine Bennis uh, from Seinfeld. Well, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, like, <laughs> dun, dun, Macarena. And he's going. <laughs> um, so yeah, those organized that's, that's, dances that's are the tricky. It They're tricky. Yeah, but adorable. Like doing, he does the floss. You know where the hands go yes. back. And oh, forth. I love yes. that. Yes. Oh, the floss is fantastic. I'd love uh, to see him do Michael, that. Michael, Michael, do do, are you are you I'd still in your it. underwear? Not well. Not put, put a shirt on. I want to come on the weird. show and do the <laughs> floss. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up. He gets up. He's chilling. He said, "I said, I said to him this morning. His mom went to work. I came out and I and I looked at him and I said, Michael, uh, put a shirt on.' I said, "Why?" I'm like, "Hell of a point. Good point. Enjoy your morning. You're, you got you're, you got it's a day Florida off from work pop. today. You know, it's like Florida pop. I put on a shirt. I'll just stain it. Yeah, he's got his little Mario Brothers underwear and uh, you know, and his shirt, and he's on his phone. Fine, rock and roll. Play your little video game. I'm cool. He he what he delivered the 100 the on the day? test last week, so I was like, you just know, for the job I mean, he, he wants." Does, he does his part. I support yeah. it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. I like the report card. I why, like the, uh, the A's him? on the report card. That was, uh, yeah. oh, I push him. <laughs> why push him? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Why push you? Push you out of bed. Yeah. Why? Well, one time. Are you coming, years. Michael? Yes, first time I've ever been late. I know. Well, I, need you, I need you to do an appearance on the show here. It was phenomenal. It was so How wonderful. did Carla look? And you haven't mentioned yeah. one, one iota about her. She was very simply dressed and looked. Carla could put on a burlap sack yeah, and look good, you like know? Like almost, because Carla's fetching. Was Can it I tell you something yes, sweet? Yes. Uh, Carla does this thing where any formal thing we go to, she wears the uh, necklace that my mother gave her Aww. before she died. Oh, and it's nice. so sweet and that's so sweet. kind. And she, Carla had a little of the, uh, a little different do. She normally has very straight hair. Uh, and she did the kind of lion's mane, funky, funky. And uh, that's it. Michael! <laughs> Maybe he's what doing, are you doing? He's doing his hair. What? Maybe he's putting on an outfit. Come on in here. Can't get this Windsor right. I'm getting some sort of answer that might be problematic. Uh, she looked very, very good. She looked very, so very good. So her hair, what, did she like tease it? Did she curl it? What did she do to it? Uh, it, it I don't know. I'm not a well, well, no, Mike, I guess. You're not? When you have an attractive wife. Uh, when you have, an attractive, she looked good. When she you looked have good. an attractive wife, there are times, even with, 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 with Shannon, that she'll come over like, oh, you can't wear that. You can't like because because some attractive women sometimes they don't know that they may be too attractive for the. Oh, fetish. oh, I we we had a fashion show before we left. Yes. Mm. I said, eh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Don't want the twins to come out and play that much. Uh, don't want to show up the bride. No, that's right. Don't want to show up the bride. Can't yes, wear so that's white. What I did. Can't let the twins out. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. common. No, I got courtesy. lots of I got wonderful compliments about uh, Carla from your multiple daughter people and your son are beautiful. Your daughter looks so. Your daughter and son are beautiful. <laughs> and, and and you know when someone walks up to oh I can tell she's your daughter. When uh, Mike, uh, when you told her that the, you didn't want the twins to come out, did she give you the same advice? <laughs> <laughs> that was after I spilled the exactly. wine. 
Hold on a second. I got to check on my shirt. I said we were looking at the twins today. Come here for a minute. I can see them through your shirt. Twins are red and blue. I need to talk to you right now, please. Looks like a looks like a presidential debate. I can't hear you, buddy. Blue and red. I can tell you. Camera? What? Tell you're not wearing a bra with that shirt, Mike. He should have. What's going on? Come here. Come here. Let's pat. Why are you still in your underwear? Huh? You said it was oh, okay. He's relaxing. Yeah, yeah. Can you just uh, right over my right shoulder do the floss real quick? I'll Man, let him get dressed. Okay, go get some pants, pants on. I, you have one minute before I have to go to break. Come on, Dad. I have to put some pants on. I know. The man has a little more. No, he's got his shirt and his underwear. It's, I, I don't know what Spider-Man underwear. I he's like got, that he knows uh, he needs to put pants on in public. Yeah, I think that's good. It's very <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would have been fine with him doing that in his underwear. I would have been fine with it that. It took us four it's years okay. to teach that to Pony. <laughs> <laughs> when he come to work without that. Yeah, go put uh, those pants on. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Now, uh, before. Okay, here he goes. All right, ready? Let's ready? Go. A little stand back. Wait, no, stand back uh, right over right here. There, there you go. go. Right, there All right, now, ba- now get back a little further. Hold on. I'll back up the camera a little bit for you. It's a good video. Hold day. on. Hold on. Okay. Hold there you on. go. Okay. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> well done. Oh, I love well it, done. man. I love oh, that. That's wonderful. Well done. <laughs> love it. He's not even stopping. He's just going. It's fast. I love it. This is great. This is great. Thank you, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you. Go do whatever you want. Nice t shirt, too, for our terrible team <laughs> that you don't want to root for anymore, oh, which I completely terrible. understand. <laughs> Saw that. Uh, that's it. They're not the worst team in the world. They're not the worst team in the world. That's right. The that's Detroit it. Lions are. The Detroit Lions are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank there you, Mike. Those are facts. Always keep for Those are facts. That's right. Got back to the hotel. <coughs> Excuse me. Fifth floor. Room 503. Thinking, uh, I always check with the elevator, you know. Now, remember, the reason I got this uh, motel was because I didn't want to be uh, where the wedding was in case it got rowdy. So, 148. 148 uh, at the Emoto. I think we turned in at like 9.30, quarter or 10. Mm. We got, we got, we were all exhausted. Wow. It was sleepy sleep. It was four o'clock wedding. We stayed long enough to have a great time. Uh, 148. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. This from the hallway? AM. Oh, I swear to God. I jumped out of bed. And 10 minutes later, <laughs> You know, and I find that this the point, mo- at I this walk point, over. Do you use the peephole first? What do you do? What's I use the mo- peephole, see nothing. So I assume it's down a little further. Open the door a crack and made the determination that I did not want to have a fight right. with Sherry Shepard at, no. at like two fight. o'clock in the morning. No fight. I didn't want to do that at all. So that's it. It was a great time. I'm a peephole guy. I like yeah. using the peephole. Well, you get, I, the peephole <laughs> is the do. worst. It's a, well, the people, you know, you don't have a lot of peripherals, so Mike, you don't know what's going every on. Every new you know. hotel room should have a ring doorbell installed. Well, <laughs> so uh, it's a uh, great should. idea. They Some should. context yeah. of what's happening mm. in the halls. But that that was it. That was the end of the evening. And then the drive back home with one of the worst fights I've ever had. A fight that made my son cry. Oh, no. Oh. A fight with my wife that made my son cry. My oh, wife, no. she woke up. Uh, I was not next to a woman. I was next to a pole cat. Oh, pole dear. cat. Dear. Yes, there is. Good tease, pole though. Cat. Good tease. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll do that uh, when we come back. Yeah, you know what? I'll push the news back. One. Okay, cool. Because the news is just depression central. Push it. Uh, yeah, because so many people are dying uh, that are my age. We'll take a break and uh, we will come back with more fun and more thrills. You're listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, whoa, everybody. Happy birthday. It's cold outside, Karen. So I wanted to remind you to visit the TMOS Shopping Center, Target, and Walmart. They'll never be frosty when they greet you. And they have everything you need this winter. Corn cob pipes, red and yellow scarves, enchanted top hats. They even have space heaters. But don't buy that, Karen, or I'll have to kill you. I'm serious. Just access Target and Walmart through the Mike O'Mara Show website. And you'll be back again someday if Frosty doesn't murder you. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Dark. Show. What's your New Year's resolution? How about this? 
If you're like most folks, there's a box of your family's treasured home movies and photos tucked in a closet that you've been meaning to preserve but weren't sure where to start. But Legacy Box makes it easy. Simply send in your Legacy Box filled with old home movies and photos, then get back digital copies that can be easily enjoyed, shared, and organized. I remember when I used Legacy Box for the first time, I had an amazing video uh, that uh, was really starting to get a little threadbare. Sure. And on that video was an eight-track movie. Uh, I think it was eight-track. No, I'm not eight-track. Uh, Super eight movie. Right. Of. Uh, my mom and dad's honeymoon, which is, you know, that's from the 1800s. It was really a long time ago. It was special, and uh, awesome. Legacy so Box easy, digitized yeah. it. It's like magic. Legacy Box is the industry leader and has helped over a million customers safeguard and preserve their past. Legacy Box's team of 200 trained technicians process 19 different media types, everything from VHS to Super 8 film by hand right here in the good old USA. Each kit includes everything you need to safely pack and send your recorded moments including safety stickers for every item. Each purchase includes access to a personal concierge available seven days a week to answer any Legacy Box questions. Bring your past to the present and the future. Kick off the new year by rescuing your family's most cherished memories. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to take advantage of an exclusive discount for TMOS listeners. That's LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. All right, everybody, I believe, is sensitive to a degree uh about their driving everybody is sure all right and uh i am no exception to that now we get up uh it was a, it was a very unsettled night in the motel yeah, you and good night, sleeping, I, lady you know what yeah. maybe it's our society uh i find now that it's almost a 50 50 proposition if you're in a motel that some asshole is going to be staying up at uh, you know at midnight to, yeah. to three o'clock in the morning and screaming in the hallway which is just so you know I, even in my in my absolute stupefied state of being in uh, hotels i've always been aware that there are you know when when you're going to your room yeah. there's probably somebody else that's sleeping that goes for late night or early morning and as Mikey, well it's and what I'm you've always, always said you've always said this <laughs> others well, others. others. That's others. think about others. Also, others. Even worse. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, I guess one of the, my most recent experiences, and and it's it's tough to gauge when you're when you're staying at hotels, like what because it, it could be the nicest hotel, and you can still. Oh, no, absolutely. Happen, right? uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I remember, and, and I don't know. Prior to the pandemic, it, it might have actually been in um, in Hawaii when the people next door on my, our side of the wall. Uh, and not my brother and my sister in law, they were having some sort of, uh, you know, uh, what is it, uh, honeymoon. And when you haven't paid your taxes in some time, and then someone else is overpaying their taxes next door. Yeah, next door. And Paper like, thin walls. And you're like, yeah, they're paying next year's taxes in advance. Well, but I, and that's it's not, it's not even the, the, for me, it's not that you're uncomfortable because they're, you know, everyone's got to pay their taxes, especially <laughs> when you get married. Um, but if you haven't, and you you know you got a letter from the IRS, which is your wife, a while ago, uh, you uh, you start looking at her. She and, hears next door someone in the throes at, of ecstasy. Yeah, and she's like, "Well, oh, you said the check was in the mail." Like, I still go back a million right? years yeah. to yeah, my brother-in-law. It. This is back a long time yes. ago, where we were sharing a, a double, and we woke. We were awakened at seven a.m., and I was in the bed to the left, and my brother-in-law Paul was in the bed to the right, and we were. Uh, I was on my left side; he was on his right mm-hmm. side. It's one of the funniest moments I will ever remember. Where we are awakened by ah. Uh, 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 like that and Ooh. i open my eyes and we are looking each yeah. at each other if you'd had a video of that <laughs> you would have seen two guys just like i go like this and he's smiling it was uh i i'll never forget the name of the motel the doville which was in atlantic city i, th- I, was, I, like, I, th- I was thinking it might have been vegas but yeah i guess it was Atlantic. the city. motel for people who can't afford to stay on the strip in one of the nice hotels let's and see if it's, it's still just, with us Mike. it was rolling that <laughs> it dough. very it was it very well might be but oscar you're right it's not pleasant to hear no you don't uh, like that you know always be aware of that and the other one would be uh in a uh, no tell motel cheapo cheapo is thud 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 by the way this wasn't cheap this was this is what we have now for uh motels right we have we stayed at the one you guys stayed at that hyatt place motel yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Where they gave the you breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Oh, my God. And and just the screaming nice. and the screaming and the screaming. Like, so, Like the Doville, <laughs> Doville has been absorbed by Sheraton. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hope they spruced it up a bit. Oh, the picture's lovely. It's it. a very small picture, but it's lovely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's it's late. Uh, just a tremendous, I don't sleep well in hotels anyway. Sure. A very unsettled night. We uh, we awake. You know, Carla's big on when they say, and we have free breakfast. And Carla always goes, eee, uh, still gets excited. I don't. I've been in more hotels square than she eggs. has. I know what, uh, oh, I wish they'd been square. Wait till I get to this. Oh. So we go down in the morning. This is after me getting maybe four and a half to five and a half hours mm. of broken sleep after that. Uh, and uh, I have my machine, my breathing machine there. Nice. And I use a different kind of container for my breathing machine. So I plug it in uh, and I didn't get it hooked up until we came back from the wedding. And as I plug the thing in, I fire it up. So what a, what a CPAP machine does is it blows air, Forces compressed air, air yeah. into your mouth uh, or you'll die. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Uh, like, and so I, I put this thing on in the middle of the motel and it's a different uh, container. And it goes... And Carla says, Mike, what the hell is that? So let me see if I can fix the, let me see see if I can fix the uh, rubber seal on the thing. And I take it out, click, click, clack, clack, put it back in. It's like, I lie, I lie down. It's like I, my head, the back of my head hits the pillow. I go, huh. I'm doing a great impression of what that sounded like. It's exactly. I hear it. I'm, it's like being there. Forced air, not being able to do that. So uh, that sucked. Uh, so I sleep without uh, the machine, which means I wake up and, uh, you know, I have a dry throat and we're just miserable. Yeah. We go down to, uh, sorry to throw them under the bus, Hyatt Place. The level of attention to this breakfast buffet, uh, if you want to call it that, was, uh, you know, there are powdered eggs and then there are powdered eggs right. that look like they are finished and then put in the chafing dish and then someone brings a garden hose over and just liberally spray, sprays them with water. Runny. So there's about an inch of water uh, at the bottom. Egg water. They're foul. They're foul. And then you get the microwave sausages that don't look like sausages. They look like cat shit. Yep. That's what they look like, okay? Yep. It looks like the the, the the obvious piece of sausage is you'd be able to take it out of the litter box <laughs> and put it somewhere. And that's mean. And then we uh, we decide to hit the road and uh, it's so bad that we don't touch our breakfast and we we leave it and uh, look those places can be spectacular it's the proprietor it's the franchisee it all depends I, it, on I, that I, I, I should have known there was a problem when i checked in and i said and how are you doing today she goes five hours to go I hate thank that. you great well, to be well my great to be uh, dear this is, uh, uh, you, you didn't get a chance to see 60 minutes yesterday by chance did you I watched part. Oh, the 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 big quit. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I watched hospitality. It, yeah. It's hit gone. The, it's 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 hit it, it, the, as far as far as business sectors. It's been the greatest hit within the great resignation. Right, right. And I was shocked you got the level of service you just mentioned. I will tell you that the only way out, corporate America, okay, the Hiltons, the Hyatts, the Sheridans, the Marriotts of this world. Sorry, here's your bad news. You got to put it up. You do. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to take some of your insane astronomical uh, profits that you get with your four hundred dollar a night shit room. Excuse me. I know we're doing a lot of editing today, and you're gonna have to pay the people that clean it, that check people mm-hmm. in, that get the breakfast bar ready in the morning. You have to do that. You're going to have to. Right? Yeah. That's what well, I took also, away from I, that I was last always, night. I was always disappointed, Mike, even pre-pandemic, when you'd go to what I thought was a Highline Hotel. As a younger man, the Marriott Courtyard, and there was no courtyard. Mm, yeah, no courtyard at all. Courtyard think by be, Marriott. Like I want to walk around somewhere with <laughs> right. my feet in the grass, with barefoot. Statuary, there. lots nothing of there. fountains. By the way, it started with a company called Embassy Suites that uh, that really uh, that was the template for all of the modern motel hotels that we have right now. So it sucked. We get into a car. We have a massive fight about driving. I'm driving. Carla's criticizing my How driving. How come you're driving? Uh, I thought she was the driver. Well, that's the problem. I think from now on, we will solve this problem. But uh, we have a fight to the point where Michael's like, stop it, you Aww. two. Oh, and good. I think oh. all I remember, I don't. I won't go. I won't bore you with the particulars. It just ended with Carla saying to me, oh, grow a set. Uh-huh. And that just, uh, you know, that's just. Wow. Yeah. 
It's like in uh, Back to the Future, don't call yeah, you chicken. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think it was like grow a set. And I said, yeah, why don't you just go ahead and, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, I see you over there. I said, <laughs> yeah. you came back Mike, early. why don't you grow a set and tell us what you said? Didn't you tell me to grow a set I yesterday? Did. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. She's an excellent driver. Can you, would you like to tell the boys what you were, and I don't want to re rehash because we don't have much time, but would you like to tell the boys what, uh, you know, what pissed you off about my, my driving? Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. M hi. hi. Happy Monday. Mike uh, flipped a person off. So <laughs> Why would you do that? That made me upset, and then I started criticizing Because the Oldsmobile Buick that the 850-year-old people were in uh, was going so slow in the 70 mile per hour lane. But it's like constant bitching. Yeah. I just can't yeah. take it But you it know what? Anymore. Actually, you know, I don't want to play devil's advocate Monty here, Carl but the very, fact, the very fact that he flipped them off means that he has a set. Thank you, Rob. Oh, I thank agree. You. He does have a set. Yeah. He you. really thank, does. Thank I was you. just you Rob know. Spiewak, my yeah. friend. Or or would you there's, have... There's, is, there's is, a really is, stepping up for me is, today. Is there thank a you. mark for a set to say someone that can control their emotions and say, I don't need to deal with this. I can just keep moving on with my life. <laughs> I can sleep as late as I want. All right. Uh, that's hey, fine. Before Carla right. goes, can she dance? What? <laughs> no, no. Michael did the, uh, did the floss. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, we're raising a party animal. Oh, he party. had a good time. He really had a good time. Yeah, it was wonderful. All right, okay. Oh, by the way, I ate a uh, whole fruit cake last night, Rob. A whole yeah. fruit cake? I did. You what? ate the whole thing? I ate the whole the whole thing. tray. I ate the whole tray. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah, I'm feeling it today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I'm like. <laughs> All right. All right. I love She's going to need some alone you. time later. We have to take a break. Uh, we a lot have, of uh, nuts. to get to <laughs> lots of that. So. Uh, pretty good little weekend. Sounds like it. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that's that, that man, that was an expensive shirt, too. And I got a super sale price Aww. on it. Oof. God. And they, those are hard to come by, a man of my carriage. When you find one, you got to love take it. Take him back to the uh, store and say, look what happened when I opened it. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Hello there. I know it might seem counterintuitive and maybe even silly to take advice from a promo, but I'm something of a famous radio pitchman, so this is something you can believe in. My mother always said that you can trust a man with facial hair. And if you have any confidence at all in the wisdom of a mother, it's time to stare at my drawn-on mustache and heed my words. Do you need a little more laughter in your dark, secluded, lonely life? <laughs> sure you do. You need the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. For pennies a day, the Bonus Show will take you from zero to hero. And all the ladies will be digging your scene. Grab it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. You'll be glad you did. And we'll be glad for you. Buy the Bonus Show and make me smile. A big, flashy, fake, insincere smile. You earned it, Pajango. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Now that it's a new year, you're going to uh, see a lot of ways to lose weight. Guess what? Most of them won't work. That's why I like Noom. Noom uses psychology to empower you with the knowledge and skills you need to build smarter long-term habits and behaviors. Noom doesn't believe in restricting what you can or can't eat. Noom gives you the knowledge and wisdom you need to make informed choices that not only fit your lifestyle, but also help you reach your goals. You're the boss. You decide how Noom fits into your life, not the other way around. 5, 10, or 15 minutes a day, how much time you want to spend on the app is up to you. Noom is grounded in science. It's at the heart of everything they do. They have published more than 30 peer-reviewed scientific articles that inform users, practitioners, scientists, and the public about how their methods work and how effective they are. Oscar loves Noom. Mm. Carla's never looked yes. better. Sign up for your trial and get psychology-based support and motivation to reach your goals at noom.com slash TMOS. That's noom.com slash TMOS to sign up for your free trial. You're going to love Noom like we all have. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. 
This is the homepage. Oh, this is the homepage, and I hate to say this, but uh, it's uh, we lost another wonderful, funny, funny person uh, over the weekend. Way, way, way too soon. Bob Saget found dead in a hotel room in Orlando, Florida yesterday. There is no uh, word on the cause of death. Police say there were no signs of foul pe- uh, play or drug use. He was only 65 years old. Uh, he was in the middle of a stand-up tour, and he just performed the night before in Jacksonville. After the show, he posted a selfie and said, quote, Love tonight's show. Appreciative audience. I had no idea. I did a two-hour set tonight. I'm happily addicted again to this. Uh, and uh, check BobSaget.com for my dates in 2022. Happy guy. Didn't you know? see it coming. And so loved. Great. The, the, the best part of Bob Saget's comedy was anybody that would watch like a Full House episode or America's Funniest Home Videos and see, uh, you know, the, the absolute vanilla, yep. straight-laced Bob Saget would go to a stand-up show and see, you know, a, a top three comedian like just edgy, 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 and just did such a great job. Really funny guy. To that Brilliantly point, funny. I'd like to play a one-minute clip, if I might. This is from 2018, okay. and he's talking about, and he addresses that, that he's known as America's dad, but he's not really America's dad. I'm the only television father left that you can trust. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't wear a cardigan sweater and have a pill dispenser and go, hey, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> Want a pudding pop? Now, pop. Bill Cosby, I don't know if you heard about it with all that's going on. <laughs> I mean, I, with all the politics, that's like a relief. <laughs> he was one of my idols. That guy was one of my icons. And when you watch an icon fall, I mean, I used to love his work. And, and, and it's just strange. And he now claims that he is legally blind so that he cannot identify women who are saying that he molested them sexually. But if you say that, isn't that like saying that if you weren't blind, that you could identify the women (laughs) that are accusing you? If I was blind, I could definitely identify women that I had sexually molested. I'd be like, oh, that's not her, Your Honor. Oh, definitely not her. That's her. That's, I know her. That's Kathy. You have to write like Sharpie pen numbers on there. But if Bill Cosby was reading Sharpie pen numbers, it would mean he could see them, which means he's not blind. I rest my case. Thank you very much. The yeah, the yeah, comedy right. was it was completely different than the character you knew on Full House. Yep. Danny Tanner. That's what and I had the pleasure, Mike, and I'm sorry uh, to take too much time here, but I, in my radio career, I had the pleasure not just once, twice of like hanging out with him for an entire evening. Like going out with Bob Saget. I didn't Saget. know that, Oscar. That's I didn't for know really. that. Like multiple, hours, maybe like you know, you go to a comedy show and you're like, let the, and he's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I was gonna go to this bar. He goes, well, he's like, can I? He said to me, can I tag along? And I said, of course. Yeah. And I had no idea. Six, seven hours at a clip talking about his 19 year old girlfriend at the time. Ended up probably marrying one of them. Um, and just a nice, like super regular person that at that point like what 15 years ago um was dealing still dealing with people thinking that he was you know america's father and I, so sad i mean so well regarded when you see the people so just nice. explode online i see a lot of parallels that when uh, when norm mcdonald passed he yeah, was people, regarded as a generous helpful yep. Absolutely. Giving in comic, the, yeah. In the comedy uh, community, uh, you know, uh, just everybody that worked with him, Dave Coulier, My Heart is Broken, I Love You, uh, Russell Crowe even got in it, a good hang, good chat, uh, kind, funny, generous, R.I.P., uh, Bob Saget, of course, uh, was was revered by John Stamos. I am broken. I am gutted, he said. This is Stamos. I am in complete and utter shock. I will never have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. Uh, God, I hate it when people yep. go too M- soon. Mike, I really do. Even as far as, you know, as soon as like Phoenix, when uh, we were out there with Big O and Dukes, when, we, when you reconnected with him on the, on the radio, because a lot of those L.A. comics go to Scottsdale mm-hmm. or Tempe, and he, he, it's like you picked up. That's how you knew the greats were, that you picked up where you left off. Yeah. Right. And even if they didn't remember you, which I think he did, he made it feel like he remembered you guys. 
Uh, really, really sad. I don't care how he died. I just uh, yeah, feel sad that he died. And uh, you too know, early. And, and too soon. it's just when we lose a funny man, a really, really good comedian. It's uh, it's frustrating. It's sad for uh, everybody. Uh, this is on the heels of somebody who lived a good life, and it's not nearly as sad. Sidney Poitier uh, died this past Thursday at his home in Beverly Hills. He was 94. Uh, Poitier was the first black man to win the Oscar for Best Actor uh, for the 1963 movie uh, Lilies of the Field. I remember that movie as a kid, as a little bitty. I remember being little, I think, going, amen, 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 amen. Uh, also, guess who's coming to dinner? One of my favorite I know that's favorite one of your movies. favorites. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, he was given an honorary Oscar in 2002. His other films, Blackboard Jungle, A Raisin in the Sun, The Defiant Ones, In the Heat of the Night. What a movie that is. Uh, to Sir With Love, another great movie. And guess who's coming? Coming to dinner. He starred in that with uh, Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn about a mixed marriage. And if you look back in the early 1960s, you might have looked at that and said, hey, we're making progress. Isn't that wonderful? And uh, it would have been it still moves me today, that yeah. speech from uh, Spencer Tracy. I get truly emotional when people rise above their petty bigotries and hatred and really think about that. I look at that movie as still something we should all aspire to, uh, to you know, learn uh, from, from people that are brave enough that uh, love blasts through all that stuff. Uh, he was the first black actor to become uh, the top box office draw in the 70s. He became a director with films like Uptown Saturday Night, Let's Do It Again, A Piece of the Action, uh, all of which he starred in with, well, here's his name again, Bill Cosby. In 1990, he directed Cosby in the box office flop Ghost Dad. He also did Stir Crazy with Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder and Hanky Panky uh, with Wilder and Gilda Radner. So he liked doing comedy he resumed acting in uh, the late 1980s and his last credited role was 2001 the last brick maker in america his uh, longtime friend 94 year old harry belafonte also way up there wow. said quote for over 80 years sydney and i laughed cried and made as much mischief as we could he was truly my brother and partner in trying to make the world a little better he certainly made mine a whole lot better uh martin luther king the third said quote sydney poitier's impact on hollywood would can't be understated his deliberate choice to not take roles based on racial stereotypes allowed many black americans to see themselves truly reflected on the big screen today we celebrate the legacy of a legend and that is uh, we don't get many legends like that no. but uh, you know uh, boy it's this time of year they drop like flies they it's do. crazy uh, none of this is proven yet, but uh, get ready for a big I told you so from uh, that astrology friend of yours. A new study uh, in Brazil claims the gravitational pull of the sun and moon does affect our behavior here on Earth. Mm. The pull we get from them is uh, only about a millionth of what we get from uh, the Earth, but they found plants and animals' internal clocks still work even when other factors are removed, like if it never gets dark and the temperature doesn't change. So the rhythm of the moon's gravity might help keep those things in sync too. So does this prove astrology right? Well, no. We already knew the moon's gravity affects us. If it didn't, the ocean uh, wouldn't have tides, but there's still no proof that it messes with decision making or causes big mood swings there's also no evidence that the layout of the stars affects us in any way they're too far away for their gravity to do anything but there's something going on there when so i'm deprived of light and clocks i do like g gordon liddy did i watch the ants Watch the ants and see how they behave. Oh, this is a wonderful story. It's been a heavy newscast today. Yes. But I have to tell you, this is spectacular. Lego can afford to play it fast and loose with details due to their blockish nature. So you wouldn't expect Lego animals to be anatomically correct. But it's changing as their sets become increasingly intricate. Oh. In I have a Lego set that is increasingly intricate. Squire, are you an a <laughs> uh, <laughs> They recently introduced a, mad, a majestic tiger, which has impressive detail, including Lego's first anus. Oh. Richard Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Parker. Yes, the tiger has a small circular pink piece. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh this is we've gone too far right i'm sorry please take that sentence once more
<laughs> yes, the tiger has a small circular pink piece that fits underneath its tail. The specific part is also used for flowers. Among other things, kind of cool, kind of unnecessary, and kind of hilarious at the same time, considering there are kids out there following the directions, looking through their Legos to find that little pink rosebud and snapping it under the, t- <laughs> the tiger's tail. Way to go, Legos. Yay. That's fantastic. Uh, Didn't they and put now that a little piece with the Darth something. Vader, too? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where's my pink rosebud? Uh, Last week, a 41-year-old woman, uh, a little something-something now, in Houston, Texas, named Sarah Beam, was worried that her 13-year-old son had contracted COVID, so she stuffed him in the trunk of her car and drove him to a testing site. When she got there, she admitted that the uh, kid was in the trunk. She told health officials she didn't want to catch it, but uh, they naturally were concerned and told her that they couldn't do anything until he was placed in the back seat. Security footage shows her letting him out and uh, putting him in the back seat. It's unclear. It doesn't see how old he is. Unclear. Oh, 13 years old. Ah. It's unclear if he was cool with being in the trunk. Sarah was charged with felony child endangerment, and a warrant is out for her arrest. The son had apparently tested positive at home, and Sarah was taking him to the site for additional testing. And get this. The testing site was run by a school district, and Sarah... Was a teacher at the district. Ooh, that's terrific. Ooh. She's on administrative leave now. Mm. No word on uh, what she teaches, but I'm guessing it's uh, not abnormal psychology. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> yeah, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like the way my backdrop like changes color when I do that. What am I? Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Hey, will you dance? Oh, uh, we have to take a break and come back uh, with something right here. Uh, you're listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. I'm Mike. That's Oscar. That's Hello. Rob. Hello. Hail, hail. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Bye, bye, buddy. As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be Mike O'Mara. To me, being Mike O'Mara was better than being President of the United States. He's not just a clown to amuse you. He's the capo de capi. He does accents, impressions, and he can even talk up records. His two trusted associates, Rob and Oscar, they're untouchable. And they're pretty good earners, too. Tune in to the live Mike O'Mara show broadcast every weekday on Facebook Live. Or download it and listen on your own terms. Support these good fellas. Go to MikeOMaraShow.com and buy the bonus show. Or I'm going to have to send Polly Christine after you. A Arrivederci. Hey. Henry Vidanti, thanks, Henry. <laughs> you may fold under questioning. Uh, I am so happy Harry's is back with us yes. on the Mike O'Mara oh Show. Oh, my God, yes. It is that time of year again. Time for fresh starts and resolutions, and Harry's can help. Harry's is an award-winning razor brand that makes a full range of grooming essentials. I love all of them. And they were founded on the belief that you shouldn't have to choose between an incredible shave and a fair price. That's what I love about them. That's why I loved about them from the very beginning. They took on Big Razor. I hate Big Razor. And not only uh, do they give you a great price, but they're so good. Their razors are so fantastic. If you want to start with the new year and do some fresh saving, New customers can redeem a Harry's trial set for just three bucks. You heard me, three dollars. When you go to harrys.com slash TMOS, Harry's delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, still as low as two dollars per blade, and they stay sharp forever. I kid you not. Harry's is giving their best offer to our listeners. New Harry's customers can redeem a starter set. You get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the go. That is a $13 value for just three bucks. There's truly never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash TMOS to try Harry's today. And we thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Rob, I know you had a uh, a truly great weekend. The one of the best, uh, Mike. Really? And, oh, yeah. Uh, it was yeah, terrific. It, his house is falling apart, oh, Oscar, no. unfortunately. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's what happens when you have a house that's about 15 years old and the people that had it built used all contractor-grade things. Mm. So I, lots- I thought you uh, you guys were like painting and doing stuff. and Yeah, painting, we've painted. That doesn't yeah. really help the, the substructure. Well, I just feel like I, there's nothing like uh, remodeling that will show you a certain aspect of your house. Be like, okay, yep. things are working. Well, well, and especially with row houses, townhouses, yeah. like yeah. I live in a production home mm. and most people live in production homes uh, and where they go in and the object is speed. It's not 
the quality. The, you know what I mean? A listener posted on my page, just quick sidebar. Um, apparently, in Baltimore, the the smallest uh, or the thinnest row house in Baltimore has been discovered. It's roughly nine feet wide. It's called a row house. <laughs> and I took my laser. Uh, digital uh, tape measure and right. put it against the wall, and I said, "Let oh. me see what th- we're doing here." Oh no! The widest my house is is ten feet. The, oh. the thinnest is nine point six feet. And I, said, I have to see this home someday. I said, I, uh, "Mike, if you go, make sure I'm not there because we have to visit in shifts." <laughs> said, oh, interesting. Maybe That's I could fantastic. contend in DC. Yeah, yeah. You get the yes. trophy. You get the trophy. So uh, it was the unhappiest day of the year. The uh, we waited till the ninth this year to unchristmas the house. Yeah, and we got up, and that involves you know taking down the stuff and putting it in bins and decorating the tree and disassembling the tree. And Carrie actually started the day with a certain amount of motivation, so we got off to a good start. And I have a lot of weaknesses in my character. I have a lot of flaws, but I can still make the Christmas tree fit back in its box every year. Good man, and I'm proud of that. Very proud. So we get all of the stuff done, get the bins upstairs, and the bins are stored on shelves at the top of the laundry mm-hmm. room, okay? So everything is put away, and we are ostensibly un Yes. And I hate it, but it's done, and that's good. And also, the other request Carrie had is that I had frozen our turkey carcass from uh, Thanksgiving, and she wanted turkey soup for dinner. And you know what? It's a hassle so to do make you a- fry? do you freeze that Marcus, uh, specifically uh, yes. for yeah, to it. make soup at some mm-hmm. point. Yeah. So what's the process when you do you have to take it out and thaw it or you, you thaw you it know, in the you, microwave? You, what I've do you got do? a huge turkey soup pot. It's really what I call my turkey soup pot. It's probably a three gallon pot. Put okay. the carcass in there with a frozen. Yeah, with a coarse chopped onion, some okay. celery, some sage. Uh, cool. Bring up water and you make stock. That you do that on Saturday. And you boil the hell out of it, and then you strain it, you have your stock, and then you pull all the meat and all the good stuff out, and then you add fresh carrots, onions, celery, and you make fresh soup. It's really good. I want some right now. It's a a hassle, but because I had to do it, I needed fresh carrots. Mm -hmm. So when we finished all the de-Christmasing, I said, I'm going to Giant. And Carrie said, great, I'll make you a list. I said, please make it small. Because I don't want to make a career out of going to the grocery store today. So she texts me about 10 items, and I'm on my way. And as I'm leaving, I've got my hand on the handle of the door. I hear the crashing sound. Is yes, that crashing? It's a crashing sound from you two levels You heard what? Up. Cartoon animals running through your attic? Or no, I heard, I heard a, a big crash sound, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost to my car, so I do what anyone would do. I yell out, Are you okay? Mm hmm. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So I'm in the car. I get a text. There's a, so you leave. I leave. There's yeah. Because you fine. say is everything fine up there? You yeah. know. All right. It is 1.2 miles to Giant. I clocked it. Giant. And uh, before I get there, I get a text. It says, "We're going to need a new place for Christmas bins." Oh. And I said, "God." damn mm-hmm. it mm. three words in the text and mm. i said i knew because i knew when i heard that crash i knew what it was it had to be because the only thing we had changed that day was putting the bins up so what it All happened- right, let me let me ask you about the uh, storage for the right. bins mm-hmm. so do you have the kind that are are they wire shelves are they yes. like wire with shelves yeah. with with braces yeah. that are like poorly put into the drywall well, and had, stuff had, like that. They had held up until now. And keep in All mind, right. the Christmas stuff, there's maybe one bin that I would classify as heavy. The rest is ornaments, lights, stuff like that's light, you know? Yeah, yeah so, I can see that. So did it tear from the wall? Well, I don't know yet because I just said, um, no, I, I'm at this point in the story. Mm-hmm. So oh, I okay. said, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, God damn it. And I go in, and this is the other great part, is that it turns out that, remember that big, massive backup on 95 last yes. week? Uh, that has The supply chain from that delivery day has hit the produce section of our store. And apparently, as I look online, every store, because I looked in, there was no celery, there was one bag of carrots, and there were fi- five, mm-hmm. five single bananas. Five. If you want to know what really does get Rob angry, <laughs> we give him a lot of crap. He doesn't get, get yeah. angry. This would be angry Rob five in the grocery store. Five organic bananas that all looked like turds. Wow. They were wow. the worst. <laughs> what did you need bananas for? for well, I, I just want turkey soup with bananas. <laughs> no, I just like to have bananas in the house. I like bananas. I like okay. It. Bananas right. and oranges are my go-to fruits during the winter. I didn't know that. And so that. anyway, I get what I got, and I come home. <laughs> and I said to Carrie, I said, none bananas, none celery. These carrots look like crap. 
And she's, probably hard to make a good turkey soup without celery, right? So I had some celery that was... Was it your backup celery? It was passable, is what it was. It celery? was celery hearts. Almost almost off. Yeah, but you see, it, but I couldn't use it on like crudite, but I could chop it for soup because it's just going to be boiled anyway. So C- Crudite. Uh, what is crudite? Like a platter of like uh, vegetables and meats and cheeses. You know, like, like crudite. crudite? Yeah. Crudite. So crudite anyway... To pine to pine. <laughs> yes, it's when you have Nell over for appetizers. <laughs> Win in a day, check a pay. check a day. So, I, so <laughs> I said, Carrie had also sent me a text. She says, because uh, Robert went back to school this weekend. And she said, you know what? We can keep the bins in Robert's room since he's not using it until we figure out what to do. I said, you know what? That's of good course. thinking. That's yeah. good thinking. And I said, did you put them in the in the room? She says, well, no. I said, so they're still just on the floor? <laughs> Where they've collapsed? Yeah. Yeah. So I go up. No. So I go up and I look in the laundry room and what I've got is there is a wire shelf like it like lazy, (laughs) super duper lazy, (laughs) lazy. Like it's like a ladder for a mouse leaning against the washer. There's arms that are bent and broken. There's holes in the walls where they've come out of with the with the wall anchors. And and I don't like them to begin with is our match set of. Christmas plates that have all the reindeer on them. I think they're a pain in the ass, actually. You mean like Donner Blitz in each individual yeah. plate? Well, with we have a... two sets, so we have 16 of them. And oh, what had okay. happened is the bin had fallen, mm-hmm. split open, and just a cascading river of broken dish pieces. Oh. That's that's way too heavy for yeah, those heavy. shelves. Heavy. Well, that's, that's what did it. That's you, what did it. You should have mentioned this before Saturday. <laughs> Because, uh, but you that's know, not, yeah, that's, yeah, so, that's the problem. So we're going to have to reconfigure. I think I can repair the shelf with uh, better anchors. wall anchors, and also I have to get a couple new cross arms. I'll have to go to. Oh man, to I Lowe's. sent some experts from down here. Down here, they got all the shelf people, the people that know how to mm-hmm. like really reinforce well, you know, all that. It's all people doing to, store stuff. He knows how know. to anchor something. He just have you always put the plates up there? Yeah, oh. I mean that's all, that's always where we put the Christmas stuff. So I mean, yeah, and you'll be able to figure it out where it's distribution. And Probably also, not the plates. No, you know, and also we've got the, what we've got other storage in another closet that is more solid. It's just a mm-hmm. matter of figuring out a better system. But you know what, Mike? Did you end up making the turkey soup after you got done working on the collapsed shelves? The soup was fantastic, but Carrie really screwed up the dumplings because we didn't go with egg noodles. We went with dumplings. And so as I'm finishing some stuff up, she says, "I'm making the dumplings." I said, "Fantastic." And I come up, and uh, she says, uh, they seem a little gooey. I said, what measurements did she use? I, I didn't look for a recipe. I said, oh. Isn't okay. it just like water yeah, and flour? No, it's two-thirds of a cup of milk to two cups of Bisquick. And then she put them in before the soup was boiling, so the whole thing was off. But you know what? It came together fine. Hey, you're still together. That's yeah. the important and, and thing. And you know what? And, and you're we, still alive. And afterwards, I said, you know, Carrie... I have to look up the dumpling recipe too. So next time we'll just make sure we look it up. You use does we she know the, does she you. get pissed at that passive aggressive uh, like when you do that to her when you're mad at her but you're not saying you're mad at her? No, because she was already I think mad at herself when I pointed out that she made two pretty grievous errors. Do you still eat them? Yeah, it was Shut delicious. Shut up, Frankie. But you know what? I'm more Shut up. Julia I'll make requ- you a dumpling. Julia requested. To, I'm more of an, an egg noodle guy in got the soup. It, so, it, it. but I made about mm, fifty gallons too. of. I uh, made about I fifty like gallons dumplings. of the soup. Uh, dumplings suck. No, Mike. I they hate don't, dumplings. Hey, they're just hey, like hey, matted no, dough. They don't suck they're at all. They're so gross. Then you're not putting enough pepper rather, and sage in them. I don't make dumplings. a pierogi better than a dumpling. Or as you know what the Polish people say. Carla likes pierogies. Pet a hat. I hate pierogies too. Oh, we I put like them. Well, that's when Carla does her old Eastern European thing. Sauerkraut, onions, sour can. <laughs> you have to wear your you know? later hosen. Yeah, it's like that's all that's gross. Uh, but anyway, well, good luck with everything. Yeah, well, Mike, everything is looking much better now. <laughs> that's good, and everything's fine on the home front. Fi- everything's abs- okay. You know what? Just fine. Absolutely. How would you rate your weekend on a scale of one to ten? The whole weekend? Yes, the whole weekend. Four. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. That's good. And, hey, uh, hey, it ain't a three. That'll work. How are you doing, Oscar? You I'm good. Right Rob there? Rob had a, a worse weekend because I had him take a rapid COVID test as well in the middle of the of the day, so I'm not being too hard on him. Yeah. I just can't. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you I need a rapid COVID? Oh, we haven't even got... Can we talk about that tomorrow, yes. maybe? Yes. Yes. Of course. Well, there's a surprise. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Hello, friends. It's me, Jake the Snake. 
America's most beloved ball python. The greatest snake in history. Just a reminder, dear boy, don't forget to purchase the TMOS bonus show. Snake will be making an, an appearance this commercial week. free extra TMOS episode every week. Zoom? Costs only pennies and supports Zoom. Mike and Rob and Oscar. Rob. It's the best. <laughs> Buy it now at MikeOmeraShow.com. And for those of you who say I sound like the Leesburg Vulture, listen. This is the voice Mike uses for all his creepy animals. So piss off and thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jake. It's a snake. Uh, even in the best schools, your child probably isn't getting the uh, one-to-one teaching that they need to reach their full potential. In a classroom with dozens of kids, teachers just don't have the time to customize their approach. At Baiju's Future School, students receive personalized attention and world-class mm-hmm. learning experiences completely online to supplement their in-person school education. Baiju's math and music courses help build a foundation of knowledge and self-confidence. And with Baiju's coding course, uh, students get the fun fundamentals of coding through their favorite games like Roblox and Minecraft. They'll have tons of fun while learning about the technology that makes games, apps, and cryptocurrencies possible. Oscar enrolled his nephew and he's loving it. Yep. You can join the millions of parents accelerating their kids' learning today. Your child can build their own Minecraft character in the first four weeks. Visit byjews.com slash podcast to enroll in your first four classes. That's a $99 value for just $9 99. That's four classes for just $9.99 at byjus.com slash podcast and do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Did you hear that? Listen, what's that sound? The big sound in the sound big town. town. Sound town. There's a new sound. Sound town. Sound started. Sound town. Sound. 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 Too long. That's Too long an intro. Sound. Too long. Sound town. Too long. Cut it in half. Oscar? You yeah. like winners. I love winners. Winners like Will Smith. Yeah, you know, oh, he's come around. He takes Mike. Will Smith takes advantage of the fact that he's got a, po- a position where he can get things done. And right. uh, he was working out with the Miami Dolphins. And uh, he put this video up on Instagram. And it's got that Instagram. You know, sometimes Instagram has like a digital voice introduction. Yes. Yes. Uh, just, just briefly, I got to see, uh, I was able to see King George, who if you haven't seen uh, about is, the Williams sisters, right? It is, Mike. I, you want uh, people that want to hate on on Will Smith, and I used to be one of them. After watching his performance here, I'm like, I, I don't, I, I don't want. Well, Will Smith. Smith's got chops. I mean, yeah. my oh, God, he does. I mean, he's uh, he's he's been doing it a long time. He knows what. I watched uh, the other bit, one that's getting critical reviews, uh, Belfast, mm. uh, which was pretty powerful. Uh, that you know, since uh, we knew when I was a kid so little about it, but uh, a lot of good stuff floating around out there. Good good movies. I want to see King George, which is of course about Serena and Venus mm-hmm. Williams and their father and how he turned them into. To the icons that they are today. I'd love to. That's next time Great I might film. watch that tonight. So Instagram, uh, Will Smith working out with the Dolphins, uh, but he passes gas. He uh, embarrasses himself here. Training with the Miami Dolphins was going great until that morning coffee snuck up on me. Oh, sorry about this. <laughs> sorry about this. Excuse me. Get out of this you guys have, sh- you have showers in here? <laughs> Let's just take it one more time to the moment. Training with the Miami Dolphins was going great until that morning coffee snuck up on me. Oh, sorry about this. There you go. Will Smith. Wow. That's loud. Yeah. Powerful. Fresh Prince. That's a loud one. That, 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 you know what? He is the French Prince, and I sometimes, I, I, you know, I'm not suspicious that it was a fake fart. It was a real fart, but I think he pushed. That sounded like he pushed. Well, it's getting those views. That's not a sneak out one. That's one. I got to let it out. I'm going to go ahead and let it out. He's getting his opinion. views. Well, you don't want him to get right. sick. Mike, there's I a- didn't see the exercises he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was arm wrestling. <laughs> There's a splat. There's a guy named Peter McIndoe, and uh, he was uh, he had a fake movement to try and get attention where he said that birds aren't real. He said they were government drones. All birds were government drones. The flat bird theory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. he was booked on WGN to talk about the way millennials do scams, and they would think not to trust this guy because this guy's whole life has been scams. 
So what he does is he gets on WGN, claims to be too nervous, <laughs> and pretends to vomit. But it's more than just Gen Z's falling for conspiracy theories. Why? <laughs> oh know, my right? God, I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we hope you're okay. Why don't we give you some time to collect yourself if you need help? Let us know in the control room there. And uh, is there any weather today? (laughs) Oh, that's such a dope anchor. uh, Well, what's he going to say? I think he's faking it. Why did you fake throwing up? Frankie, shut up! (laughs) And Mike. (laughs) Jesus. Let's close with this because I know that we're talking about conspiracy theorists there. But sometimes they give very valid advice and very smart things. And Pony gave me this tape. This is uh, Alex Jones. And I want you to remember this through the weekend. Yes, if a man takes enough hormones, they might produce a couple of drops of milk a day. You're not going to feed a baby. (laughs) No, sir. You're not going to feed a baby, Mike. (laughs) Wow. That's Alex Jones. Do you want one more time? Yes, if a man takes enough hormones, they might produce... A couple of drops of milk a day. You're not going to feed a baby. You're not going to feed a baby. Please. Malk, with hear? my sort of Texas accent. <laughs> Can we hear him say milk one more time? Yeah, milk. Yes, if a man takes enough hormones, they might produce a couple of drops of milk a day. Malk. You're not going to feed a baby. <laughs> Mike, that's all I got. Funny. That's fantastic. Funny. Now leaving sound time. That's it. We got to get out of here. Thank you. Please come get. Uh, that's Alex Jones, everybody. Uh, we will be back uh, with. Uh, what, what was the last thing that I heard that somebody? A was rapid talk COVID about? test. Yes. Oh, I want to hear all about the the COVID since that's. Uh, have you heard of Delta Cron? Yes. <laughs> no more Delta. <laughs> Life's great. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be uh, taking a little brief uh, respite, and then we'll come back tomorrow with a brand new episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Hey, save something for Dan, huh? I'm a phony, just like you. You're playing golf and you're going to like it. What about my asthma? I'll give you asthma. Sayonara, sucker. Wow.